Hello YouTube, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. So last tutorial I showed you how to create a square fence. Now one thought I had about it at the end was, well it's not the only type of fence you can create, you can create any shape fence whatsoever. So just to prove this I'm going to go into our top view, Alt W to full screen, go back to our shapes, I'm not going to go into detail as much as last video, if you haven't seen it go back and have a look, it's, really, it's just called fence or something but yeah so I'm going to select our line tool and I'm sim simply going to drag a line around the line and I'll make it in the shape of a C then we'll come back round do it like this and I'm not even going to close it so I'm just going to let go just by right clicking left clicking so there's my spleen random random spleen I'm also going to add a star spleen just here and we'll make it a weird one and we'll add a donut as well just like so and one more an arc just like that just to show you that we can have many so I'm going to go back to our geometry and choose our box now the first one we're going to do is we'll work with the donut why not so I'm going to select it here just drag it out and drag it up so drag it up and we'll make it brownish again just so it looks like a fence and I'll also convert it to an editable poly and just drag the top in like we did last time just to add the spike to it, it makes it look better so we're now going to click it and we're going to duplicate it to every single one so I'm going to press G to get rid of the grid, Alt W full screen I'm going to hold shift and drag it to each one just to a nice enough point make sure it's a copy of it else you might run into some errors so this one's a bit off so I'm going to rotate it so it's not all out of line that there, that I'm going to make it perfect and this one here, I apologise for the screaming girls, it's really annoying around here so there's now officially one on every single one, we all can agree so let's work with this donut first I'm going to click it and I'm going to click tools, align, spacing tool pick path, and um, I'll turn it down a bit from 80, we'll see 30 because it's a small object pick, boom so you can now see that if we go into this view, do it again, spacing tool, pick the path, this one, done. So it does it for us, so we can apply that one. We can come back here, click this one, pull that back, tools, align, spacing tool, pick path, arc. So as you can see, that one's, no, we can't have that much. That's better, so we just click apply, there you are. So we can delete this one here because we've already got two of them. So let's come back to our star one and click it and click pick path, this one, boom. However that needs a lot more, so we'll say 40. Uh, the star's messing up a bit with the rotations but it is technically doing what we told it to, we'll say 80 just to fill it in. So it is filled the star in with fence posts, you probably wouldn't want a star fence anyway. but. So we're going to do the final one, tools, align, spacing tool, pick path, boom. Come on, boom, boom. There we go, apply. So as you can see, we can create any size shapes. All you have to do is go to the spleen and just choose anything. Anything out of here, eggs, why not, it would work, sections, why not, helix, which is like a revolving one you know we all have to try this one so we're going to go to the top view just quickly just to prove it again we'll set one of these fences, drag it over here copy I drug it to the wrong one this one here so is it right drag it in yep that's right we'll go tools align spacing remember that path pick path boom and now you've got fences that go uphill so that's even cooler because it actually sticks to the bottom of it all that's left is to play with it really really simple quick tutorial thank you for watching and see you next time 